this next story, this is pretty, uh, pretty heartbreaking, but I guess we also knew the truth before we had the evidence, as they say. So I brought you uh, multiple updates on this. This is, um, This is the forest defender. You guys know about Cop City. Cop City, this $90 million monstrosity they're building in Atlanta, Georgia. So the tr so the cops can play pretend. So they can run around with their guns and shoot at little cardboard cutouts and, and play, play gotcha or whatever the fuck they do. Uh, it is a urban warfare training facility. $90 million to build it. Uh, knocking down like a hundred acres of forest. And so people are protesting and they're one of the ways they're doing it in Atlanta is by occupying that forest and not letting them uh, knock it down. One of those forest vendors and all this I've covered before named Torture Gita, uh, they were murdered by these police in cold blood. And the police tried to argue, oh, no, it was a man with a gun coming at us and we had to kill him. Uh, but then I brought you another segment uh, not long ago about how the uh, body cams from the cops, although it didn't show it, you had multiple cop agencies there. And one of the cop agencies, you have you have audio on their body cam of them going, uh is everybody, is everybody all, you know, all right or something like that? I heard they shot their own. Meaning what seemed obvious to me from that audio, audio footage, audio files, is one of these police officers had accidentally shot one of their own. And the response coming from the other officers, one of whom had just been shot, was to then fire at the protesters, killing this one, Tortuguita, uh, and apparently they shot him 13 times. So this is the autopsy has just come out. The family of Tortuguita, uh, Esteban Paez Tehran, held a press conference Monday morning outside the historic DeKalb courthouse to release the full autopsy. Tortuguita was shot and killed by Georgia State Parole on January 18th in the South River Forest as they were dedicating their time to the diverse Stop Cobb City movement, uh, they being Tortuguita, as that person was dedicating their time to stopping Cobb City. Now, here's the key point. The autopsy conducted of Tortuguita at the request of the family by Dr. Chris Sperry has found that when Tortuguita was shot and killed, their hands were raised in the air, according to the family's lawyers. The autopsy further reveals that Manuel was most probably in a seated position, cross-legged when killed. This, demo, this image I'm showing you, uh, for those of you not listening to the podcast, the image is of the position that the autopsy shows Tortuguita was sitting with cross-legged, with hands up. Uh, I don't know whether they know whether the hands were back facing or front facing, but it didn't really matter. The point is they had their hands up, unarmed, seated, and they were shot 13 times. And that's what your police are doing in order to build a urban warfare training facility. Uh, it is, you know, to learn something like this is deflating and yet it also, it, we knew it was the truth even before we knew it was the truth. Uh, this is what happens when you have a militarized police that are, that think they're at war with American civ uh, civilians. They think they're at war with these forest defenders. They are not. These forest defenders want to protect a forest. The cops supposedly are sworn to protect the citizens, not to protect a company knocking down a forest. But they don't understand that. Uh, and anyway, I just wanted you to know from that update, we now have the proof, the evidence uh, from the autopsy that that is how it, ha how it went down. Uh, and good luck to everybody in Atlanta continuing that fight to stop Cop City and to get justice for Tortuguita.